Oh, yes! Yes! Fire the laser! Fire my laser! Welcome back, everybody, to Rogue Tower, a rogue tower building game. Nailed it. In between episodes, I, uh, I may have done a little bit of upgrading. <laughs> I played another couple hours of the game and bought a whole bunch of upgrades, including uh, this one right here, where I draw a card every round. And I'll, I must tell you, that, uh, that upgrade right there got me pretty far in the game. Increase my tower's permanent health by one there. Let me turn my, uh, menu here and hit play, and I'll show you. I got to round 30 last time on a single defense here, so I got a lot of cool stuff to show you now. And I figure we'll do a run, and hopefully we'll get really, really far. Now I feel like I kind of have a, a pretty decent understanding for the flow of the game. I also increased our mana capacity a lot. I've got access to a lot of stuff right now. A uh, single tower there will expand. Dead. So now you can see I've got every round I get a new I get to pick a new cart, and I have uh, access to more cards per draw. I've also picked up this obelisk here, which is a mana hog. Let me tell you. I am going to take the uh, the Shredder Tower first here. That sounds kind of awesome. And the Shredder Tower is just too good. Ooh, the Flame Tower. The Flame Tower is really, really good. A place, uh, a, uh, oh, I can't, uh, a Ballista there. That blade tower is just disgusting. All flamethrowers gain plus one damage. The radar is pretty good, but I think I'm going to take the mana bank here. Because I'm waiting for a, a nice long uh, stretch of, uh, of uh, track here. Yeah, not a problem. This, uh, ooh, mortar. Max health, mortar, mortar. So we'll throw a mortar down here, and that's going to cover this whole corner. And then I think I'm going to do a flamethrower right here. So the flamethrower is going to help us eat through armor. And what I found is... Excuse me. Yeah, off there. And what I found is is that if I just tell the flame, if the flamethrower is shooting back on a straight track, it does a lot more damage. It'll target a lot more things in a row and do a lot more damage that way, because it does all AoE, might, much very similar to the poison tower. Got 300 gold. Frost tower is pretty good. What I can do with the frost tower... I have some ideas for the Frost Tower. The Frost Tower uses up mana to slow enemies, and it's it's very good. Now the Flamethrower does some pretty good work against... Uh, it's supposed to do uh, good work against armor and health. Not even a problem. I will gain more sorcery. And then I am going to do a mana bank up. So that's going to give me 10 mana a second, which gives me a lot more of that resource to uh, to work with. Which is what I'm all about. What am I targeting? Most armor, all right. I would like another blade tower about right about here or even here next to this uh next to this house Ooh, i might need to place a ballista or two yet nice 
So I got the obelisk here again. And the obelisk is sweet. It basically fires a giant laser and does a lot of damage to everything. Everything. But it costs a metric shit ton to use. I'm gonna get it, but we're, it also costs just a ton of money in period. So I'm gonna hold off on, on purchasing it for the time being. We are having some money problems right now. Which is not ideal. I did take a lot of a lot more expensive towers at first. If I can get another mortar, that would be pretty sweet. Or another blade tower, actually. But that's 600. That's a lot of that's a lot of funds. Even with uh I did get a card. I did. I think I said it earlier. I got a card to increase the amount of uh, money that that enemies give. Even with that, it still costs a good. It still takes a while to accumulate money until like round fourteen. I would like to see all flame towers gain plus one damage to armor. 385, that's good for another mortar. I have you focus on health. I have enough for a second ballista. Those of you who are still kind of new to this, I'm placing next to the tower because um, each tower will give me uh, this will each give me uh, 10 gold. It increases by one per round. Actually, this uh, ballista defense we're kind of mounting here is actually doing decent-ish work. And the flamethrower is so awesome. Just a good all-round uh, unit. If I get a couple of them kind of cross-firing here, that's a lot of good burn damage that we rack up. I think once this blade goes off, everything's just pissed. This is awesome, actually. Ballistas now consume a small amount of mana and do plus three base damage. Ooh, look at this nice straight line we have here. Ooh. I could have a lot of fun with that. So here's what I'm thinking I want to do here. I'm gonna put that frost tower there. What that's gonna do is, uh, there it goes. It's gonna slow enemies. Uses up mana, slows enemies, and deals uh, damage to them. A little, it looks like a little bit of health. Our staunch flamethrower line here is really starting to rack up damage. Disgusting amount of damage. Orders gaining plus one damage to armor could be good. I'll expand another a bit more. I don't know what... I want to save up for a blade tower. And I'm hoping after this level we'll have enough for another one. And I want to place that here. Yeah, look at all that... Look at all that uh, slow we got going on here. Oh, hey. Got enough for this. Come on, fire it. Thank you. It's gonna work that. Then I think my next big buy is gonna be a... I think it will be the flamethrower. It'll be another flamethrower, probably up here. I have 
another mortar somewhere? I'm not... I'm seeing mortar shots come from somewhere I'm not sure where they're coming from. Um... Flamethrower's dealing... All Ballista's dealing plus one damage to shields. Is Kinetic Blade's dealing plus one damage to... Mana. I think... Ballista's dealing plus one damage to shields is gonna come in pretty handy here soon. And I would like to mount a flamethrower defense right here. I place the mortar. Gee willikers. Alright, what are you targeting? You're targeting health. I'm gonna place most armor. Yeah, the siege towers are coming in. Would have loved to have had the flamethrower up by now. But I'm two gold shy, so it doesn't look like I'm gonna get it. But it looks like it's not gonna matter. Holy shit. And flamethrower. We've actually, I feel like we've mounted a pretty decent defense here now. We are going to need the poison sprayers sooner rather than later. And I would like to place that here. Wow. This is a really weird... This is a very long single path they got for me here. I got another good spot here to place a mortar. What I might do, and what I'm go what I'm going to do, another ballista there, and I just want you to target most health. Just start kind of eking away at stuff. Lots of good status effects going. Wow. This uh, defense we mounted here with both the poison and the flamethrower is pretty beefy. Ooh, what I think could be fun is another frost tower here to basically slow everything that comes through here. Uh, slow every, just slow everything down that try to, to go through here. But I want to see, I want stuff to take lots of damage from both the. Uh, Mortar, the flamethrower, everything. And the poison dealing plus fifty percent more damage seems pretty good. I think this is the the Oogie level. The, uh, the, I think this is the boss wave, so we're doing really good. I'm gonna keep. Have, I'm gonna have this mortar start. Uh, oh wait, do I have health? No, I want you to do armor. My bad. I would like a flamethrower and a and a poison spitter up this way. Maybe a few more blade guys. Yeah, I definitely want a blade guy at least here. Uh, the shredder. I keep calling it the blade tower. I, I'm so used to balloon tower defense. Now that's uh, really off, really off tangent. That is a game I played a ton of in my uh, during like high school and stuff. I love that game. I had balloon tower defense six in college, and that's pretty much what I played in between classes. It was, it was a, it was a treat to play that. Oh, wait, it's 700 for that, the other Shred Tower. Yeah, this staunch defense here with the two, uh, Breezy Towers is potent, to say the least.
Order's pretty much covering every part of this map. This part of the map. I want to increase the maximum bleed because I will be placing down a lot more uh, a lot more... Oh, here's Uki! Uh, anything else that I can quick place? A... Another poison sprayer probably wouldn't be a bad idea. We'll place a poison sprayer there. We'll have the... Uh, since this is weak on armor, we'll have the mortar doing, uh, doing work on the... Uh, let the mortar doing work on armor. Anything else I want to place? Real quick. Honestly, more blade turrets are like the big thing I want to place. But a ballista never hurt anyone. So now, with Ugi uh, being the only thing left, he's going to pretty much be facing the brunt of everything. And I think this slow area here, yeah, look at that. Nice and slow. Really get him experiencing that flamethrower for a good long time here. Probably make a lot more sense to also have a ballista there for that slow part. This is like the boss killing uh, portion right here. Not even a problem. Lead enemies take plus one health damage from all attacks. Flamethrowers do more burn. Flamethrowers do more damage to health. Open a treasure chest. Uh, mana bolts too. Ballistas now consume a medium amount of mana to do more damage. Poison sprayers gain plus one damage to shields. All ballistas deal 25% poison damage. Yes. And I think I will do this one. Thermal detonation. The obelisk deal more damage to armor. And I will place down an obelisk here. I think right here is a pretty good spot. Yeah. So the only downside with the obelisk is that it consumes an absurd amount of mana. And that mana consumption only increases. So it, it can fire 360 uh, basically times per minute. And it uses up 2 mana a shot. I have plus 10 mana right now. And it's not going to be enough. As I said, this this unit is a mana hog. I will have to build so many mana siphons and mana banks just to cover this thing's mana consumption. But when that thing fires off, oh baby, let me tell you, it is a thing of beauty. Armor shredding doing its or the. Uh, Saw blade once again, the saw blade, the saw tower once again proving weight is the superior unit. As Robert Downey Jr. would say, suck my unit. Ooh, here's actually when the shield boys start showing up. That's worrying. I don't think I have enough uh, poison spitters. about one more poison spitter here. So, oh yeah, here we go. We can see this bad boy work. Look at how disgusting that is. Look at my mana just drop. Drops like a stone. Need more mana banks. Nothing can get through there. Um, I'll... Obelistas deal 25%. They're dealing 25% poison damage? They are. Damage to armor, damage to shields. So I have any cheaper towers that I can place over here? I would like something here but I don't know what yet. I'm also going to be looking for the 
mana bank or the uh, the mana siphon because the mana siphon I can place next to these and get plus one mana per it's uh, pretty good actually this thing is putting up a pretty staunch defense I think I'd like another I'd like something I don't know what You know what? I'm gonna place this, and I'll probably have a freezy. I'll probably have one of these frost keeps here. Just hold enemies here, and I'm gonna pile a whole bunch of stuff at these crossroads. This down here is a pretty staunch line already. I can't imagine much is gonna get through here, especially with these two freezy towers doing their good work. Oh man, look at all that poison damage. It's beautiful. thing just does an absurd amount of damage. And so quickly, too. I'm going to need to build a lot of... Burn damage. Poison sprayers dealing more damage to shield. Okay. First thing I want here is a frost keep. I would even say, go so far as to say that I placed that incorrectly. I definitely underestimated its range. So I'm going to demolish this, and I'm going to place it back one. There we go. Now, that's all I can place there for the time being, but I think the next thing I want to place is a mortar. The mortar is going to go up here. That'll cover this whole thing as I ex keep expanding out this way. We're also going to be looking for the... Oh, right. These speedy assholes. Fortunately, they can't outrun saw blades. There is one consolation prize. And they can't outrun lasers, because that's light amplified by... Light amplified by... I can't remember what the S is. Emitted radiation. Light, um, light amplified. No. What is, what does laser stand for? It'll come to me in the middle of the night, and I'll have to relay it. I'll have to do, like, an emergency vlog and, and tell you. I would like a order. Very good. Let's see how my staunch defense is doing. So you notice here that I'm building up a lot of poison. As we discussed last time, poison is a pool that uh, it subtracts from. The poison builds up as a pool that it subtracts from by a preset amount. I think it's like 25. So we're putting more into the pool than we're taking out of it. So we're only subtracting like 25 poison a second. So we need to increase the amount of poison damage that we can deal per second to subtract from that pool faster so we're not leaving poison damage in that pool. That makes sense. List is gaining a 5% slow. Hmm, I don't know if that matters so much. All obelisks deal a 25% burn. That would be pretty good. Dealing more damage to just health, though. Also good. So I've got a thousand... Wow. I'm going to place down two mana banks. That gives me 22 mana and more um, reserves. I'm going to call that good for right now. Wouldn't mind if the blade tower dealt more lead damage, but I don't know if that's something that I can control right now. I'm not even sure if that's an upgrade. Must be an upgrade. One more ballista there. Kind of cheese out some extra money. Not a lot is getting through here, which is awesome. I would like a lot of stuff to be dead by the time it reaches here. So we're still not dealing a lot of damage to shields, but I feel like armor is pretty well set 
So let's build a poison spitter. I still have another 400. So, hell, let's build another... Build a flamethrower. Fire and poison right there in the same spot. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, with plus 22 mana, I feel a lot better about, uh, about firing off this bad boy. But the only thing that can really make it here is shielded enemies. I don't like, but I think I've taken pretty good steps to prevent them from... God, I just love this laser! It's so good! Ooh, leave them dry. More bleed. I think so. I'm gonna th I think I'm going to take the bleed. I think I'm going to take the extra bleed. Yes, I'm going to take the extra bleed. It's not like I'm trying to convince myself that I'm taking the extra bleed, even though... I know I've already taken the bleed. Ooh, a mortar right here on this hill. Oh, absolute wonders. I want you to focus armor. Look at that damage. That's just beautiful. My kind of combined uh, fire and poison approach seems to be doing working wonders. I'll hide my UI for right now. Look at that boy. Look at that boy doing the good work. Yeah, we still have a problem with these more shielded enemies. How can I fix them? I would like them to stay in the poison for a bit longer. I'll place a frost tower down to slow them through here. But hopefully they experience the magic of poison a little bit more. And that appears to be doing pretty good. Still looking for a poison upgrade. To take out of that pool faster. I forget, my ballistas now also deal poison damage as well. All towers have a crit chance equal to their level, but lose one base damage. I don't like that. The mine, repair and increase tower health by mining from iron veins. I think I'm good there. Damage to armor, damage to armor, damage to health. Actually, damage to armor probably won't go in this. Yeah, look at that. That's so much damage. I love it. Build maintaining pretty decent mana. Look at that. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. You know what could be fun? Another one of these laser things, but like right there. That's going to make for a good screenshot later. And one more uh, flame bar. I think the problem I'm going to run into is that if both of these laser towers go off at the same time, it's going to eat probably going to eat all my mana. So, I'll we'll have to figure that one out. Poison sprayers one. Armor, that would be okay. Trail of Blood 1. Bleeding enemies take plus one health damage from all attacks. I'll take it. Sold. 
Probably wouldn't hurt just to throw a Ballista. And I'll keep expanding this way, I guess. That's fine. Four Mortars would be really nice, though. Disgusting amounts of damage that thing does. Look how quickly it levels up, too. Just a thing of beauty. I'm actually maintaining a decent-ish amount, uh, amount of mana. I think a few more mana banks placed here and there. Might be able to overcome it, or at least... That's not bad, actually. Oh, wow. Stuff gets here and just kind of melts. Have five percent slow siphon mana. Have a five percent crit. Obelisk deals twenty five percent burn damage. Siphon mana from crystals. So now I can place a mana siphon for one hundred, and it just gives me a flat plus one mana. Pretty guilt free if I do say so myself. Another shredder over here would be nice. So I uh, will probably put one here for more, like, pre-damage. The name of the game for this area is as much AoE as I can shove. There we go. So the more bleed damage I can stack, the more blade towers I can get, probably the better at this point. Stuff gets here and just slows to a crawl, and I'm I'm all about that. So this defense up here does a pretty decent job at stopping stuff. So I'm gonna build up this one a little bit too over here, just a little bit more. Don't know with what though. I got a poison spray. I got a fire sprayer. Frost keep flame tower. I think I'm actually good. At, I think this is actually a good enough defense over here. Maybe another mortar? Yeah, hell, another mortar. Increase maximum penalties and damage. Hell yeah, that's what we're looking for. Then a other shredder here, as I completely whiff it. Thank you. And we'll go that way. Just whatever extra little bit of damage, chip damage, I can do over here is still more damage than I was dealing before. I wonder if there's an upgrade for the laser where it'll slow too. That would be pretty disgusting. the monster guy, because that looks like a vampire. Maybe it isn't. Uh, we are draining from the poison pool, so that's real nice. The next thing I want to add in is... Yeah, we are, we are... The poison pool isn't building up as much as it used to, so that means we're able to deal more damage from that pool, which is only be a good thing. It's so cool seeing these towers go off like that. And the laser! Oh, so good. Ooh, obelisk dealing bleed damage. Sure. So I have another converging of paths right here, so one, two, four, one, 
one path, two path, three paths converge into two paths converge right here. So I'm gonna put another build up another defense here. Start with a cross keep here. That kind of covers this box. But I've already got that there. A Poison Sprayer, Flamethrower, Lista, I think that's okay for right now. And we got another Oogie coming, another Oogie. Poison Sprayer, Flamethrower, I want anything else? I don't know what else I would want there. Be another poison sprayer. Hell, I'm feeling a bit ambitious today. This is my happy little defense. More mana siphons, though. Ooh, the Oogie were doing pretty decent damage, too. is what worries me the most. Got so much shield. But that might not matter that he has so much shield. Actually, it's probably gonna matter. If this doesn't kill us, I'll be shocked. Ooh, another frost keep here. Kinda have slow all throughout here which is gonna be handy. Doing pretty decent damage to his shields there. Nice, good slow area right here. Look at that shield. You can see his shield dropping. Yeah, look at that. Built up a lot of good poison damage on him. That's 8,000 damage in the pool. I think we're dealing 50 a second. He's pretty much going to have poison damage being dealt to him pretty much throughout the rest of this uh, run. Down to two-fifths of his original health. And he's gonna go through here. This boy's gonna be putting in the good work on him. It's a crawl. Yes! Yes! Fire the laser! Fire my laser! Uh-oh, he let on a thing. That ain't good. Uh, shoot. Poison sprayer, poison sprayer. Poison sprayer right there, please. And a frost keep as well, right there. Ooh, some stuff did get through. Good time to get the mine. Oh, and we killed the Oogie. Um, uh, sure. Open. More damage to shields, hell yeah. Oh, Ballista's already dealing 25% poison damage. Sure, trail of blood. expand out this way some more. Ooh, the music got a lot heavier now, too. Man, it's just a cloud. It's just clouds of smoke here. So much AoE damage. It's disgusting. I think what I'm going to do, I get enough money. I think I'm going to place... Like right here. I'm going to have two of these uh, damn uh, lasers going off. They're just such a fun unit. 
course, I still don't have the mana to like keep up, keep that up. Oh, ooh, airstrike time. Airstrike is super cool. Let's do a radar here. Put it here. And what that's going to do is, in this radius, there's going to be a biplane. Oh, a fortress! So this, when you put a tower above it, it gives it plus five range. This is a really good spot to put, like, a mortar. Or even, like, a blade turret. I might put a blade... I might put a blade turret up that way. What I'm going to have the radar focus on is the most health enemies. And that, and that boy does a lot of damage. He'll give me another one. Have you focus on progress. And now I need to place more mana siphons. Plus 51 mana and it's not enough. I love it. I love that 51 mana is not enough for all of my laser turrets. Actually, I should be building mana banks. Um. Ooh. Orders dealing more to shields would be really good. Plus 63 mana. That doesn't do... If that doesn't sustain me a little longer, I give up. That's it. I'm done with this map. That's staunch defense. Blade Tower. Secondary staunch defense. Ooh, strafing shots right there. That's good shit, man. Oh, right, the mine. Let's uh, increase my max health and give me a chance of uh, healing off some of this damage that I uh, was done to my turret. Or done to my tower, I should say. dealing more damage to shields can only be a good thing. Up here, a frost keep. And perhaps a flamethrower. Yeah. Things ain't getting through here right now. Other blade. Just look at that. It's beautiful. I love my lasers. My lasers are so good. I, at first, I didn't like the frost keeps, but they're really starting to grow on me now. Like, I think they're a legitimately good unit. Don't like how much stuff is getting to this part of the map. Uh, poison sprayers doing plus damage to shield. Increase maximum poison. Obelisk bleed. Let's go with the poison here. So over here, another poison sprayer. I would like a 
good, so that'll slow everything down there. And then I got 600 left. I would like to place something here, but I'm not sure what yet. Honestly, I'd like to do another laser, but I don't know if I can legitimately sustain it. Actually, now I'm curious about something. If I place a mana thing up here, that give me plus five. Yeah. And that's a bummer. Wow, look at that range. You know what? I'm going to have the Nod laser up there. I'm just going to need to build a lot more mana banks to account for it. Yep, I'm going to need a lot more. There's another mana bank. Mana bank, mana bank, mana bank. Let me place the mana bank. Thank you. Plus 79 mana. Still not enough. I have throws more shield, frost spiders, more armor, frost keeps damage to health. I feel like I'm kind of neglecting the... Uh, Cross things. Ooh, a mortar right here. Plus six? Yeah, that'll about there. So I can get what's called a university here. I don't know what the university will do, but it cost a lot of XP that I didn't have. Oh, hey, this is a new record for me. Round 31 is a new record for me. These boys just go and go and go, don't they? We're doing a lot of killing over here. But I worry it's not going to be enough. What a... Uh, poison Spare right here would probably be a good idea. Where else can I place a mana bank? Mana bank. Plus two, plus two, plus three, mana bank. Mana bank, plus three. Mana bank, plus three. That's all fine. Those are all good spots. I'm happy with those. The list is dealing a slow is a good thing. And to kind of round up my defenses here, I'll drop a Ballista. And a another Mortar. And we'll go this. We'll expand this way. I need to stop expanding. So much shit coming at me from many different directions now. For these boys. With them are some healthy boys. Yeah, we're sustaining our mana. Are these going to be the, the things that end me? I don't even care at this point. This run has gone on far enough, long enough, I and mean, I will never top it. Yeah, the real thick armor boys are what's making it through. Apparently, I need more flamethrowers. Although, by the time they get here, they're they're able to be focused on by this laser. So I don't think that's quite so bad. That's bad, however. Hell are those things? Alright, so to kinda build another laser here. Hopefully to kind of pick off uh, some of these uh, guys as they try to make it to the end. Oh obelisk deal plus one damage to arm. Orders dealing burn damage sounds awesome.
All right. This video is almost an hour long. And for the sake of my sanity, and the fact that I could probably go on for another half an hour of playing this, I think I'm going to have to end the video here. I love this game, which is why I look over and it's already 50 minutes. So when we come back, we're going to finish this map off and do another run. So uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.